guys, I am Driti Kauranath, an artist instructor, mother skillshare teacher, and brand owner of Vibrant Parcels, where we manufacture handmade sketchbook, artist free paints, and much more. I will go ahead and start wetting my paper on both the sides. This is very important uh, to wet the paper on both sides. It's almost hot in the eastern part of India now and I can't keep my paper wet for a really long period of time. That's one of the reasons I try to apply water on the back side too so that uh, the paper is absolutely cotton and it can stay wet uh, longer. It allows me longer period of time where I can work with my brushes, paints, etc. I'm even applying water on the top side of the paper. The speed of the video, as I have told you, is 1.5x. You can go ahead and adjust the speed. We would be working with one of our largest brushes and I would be mixing some amount of my royal blue and ultramarine for the top part of the sky. The top part is majorly going to be lighter in value and as we reach towards the bottom, it will become more and more darker with the yellow shades etc. I always move around with the lightest value initially and then start with our darker shades. You can see that I'm going ahead with my Naples yellow and then I would apply some amount of my orange or you can see permanent yellow light and permanent yellow deep as we progress. The bottom area will be more of the sunset view and we will have more colors towards the bottom compared to what we are going to apply towards the top. I'm using my size 4 brush and you can see that I'm removing my colors on top of the tissue which I keep on the left side of my paper. I am a right-handed person and that's one of the reasons most of my stuff you can see on the right side. Whether it be my palette or whether it be my colors or even the water etc. The placement of these objects is very important. It helps to actually work through the whole process very quickly that way. Adding some amount of my opera shade over here to create the darker values and slowly we will progress to way more darker shades and values. The water is optimum. When you apply water on both the sides, it becomes the best in uh, this particular case. It is allowing me with so much more time. You know that the whole process took me about 10 minutes, but the paper did stay wet for a longer period compared to if I did not apply water, it would only allow me six to seven minutes to work on it. Whereas I can actually increase my time by 1.5 X if I am applying water on the other side. There's a lot of importance of water and paper that you are using in watercolors. I am right now working with 100% cotton 185 GSM arches paper. You can go ahead and use a 300 GSM in case you are a beginner. And if you are more advanced level artist or intermediate artist, 185 GSM is also good to go. I did apply another layer of my ultramarine and cobalt blue while I was working on the top part of the sky area. And now going ahead with a darker mix of both the colors. Once I have applied those colors towards the top, I will again go towards the bottom area to apply some more of the shades. You can see how I continue to progress with all my shades, colors, etc. It is something very, very interesting which I have discovered over time that Clouds can be painted really quickly and it leaves us with a lot of time in hand to practice something else to be frank. Or else if you are actually struggling with time, clouds is a good challenge that you can take up. If you are someone who is um, actually in love with clouds, I think you should consider taking one of my earlier classes on Skillshare. I have recently released it and here goes the link. I'm using uh, my darker value which is more of purple and some amount of blue that is there. You will see how I am even using the brush. It is more round kind of brush strokes that uh, you observe because I want more of these fluffy clouds. 
detailed uh, classes of course is available on skillshare as i always say or even on my channel www.vibrantparcels.com it has a lot more uh, clouds than other uh, paintings of flowers winterscapes etc available at your disposal they are for lifetime access so please go ahead and check out those classes adding some of my darker value of purple by using some amount of um, indigo in the mix i am creating the color and adding it towards the middle part the top area i have kept it more lighter and as i reach some of the middle and the bottom area i will use um, this color absolutely bottom part which is majorly the horizon line is going to be really small that's one of the reasons i have applied an undertone value of yellow shade over there uh, naples yellow yellow any shade you can apply over it i would be going ahead with my green shades the paper is almost dried now and you can see working on it is very tough so i have to leave it at this stage and then start out with the bottom part bottom part is way more easier to work around with as it has um, green shade that i'm going to apply this is my size zero uh, quill brush or you can say mop brush from the brand da vinci and i'm going with just a straight line what happens is if you have an undertone value of yellow underneath the sap green that you are applying it will give a glow and that glow uh, really makes a lot of difference in this kind of painting though you can leave it at this stage also but i would like to go ahead with some of the darker values i have created uh, this with the help of adding some of the ultramarine into the blue part some more dots and then i am almost done hope you have enjoyed the video in case you do like it please give it a thumbs up or um, just uh, drop in a comment waiting for each one of you do tag me on instagram by the name watercolor.illustration.letter if you are painting along with me i would love to share all your paintings on my stories uh, with uh, everyone see you guys very soon in another video